Jason here. I'm at the House Studios in Seattle setting up for December 2017 and you can see behind me I've started to set up uh, kind of command central here with the uh, TriCaster TC1. Uh, this room is uh, going to be where it all happens as far as the, the tech side of things and the switching and streaming. We can go out I'll show you where we're at. So you might remember this from last year, but uh, we're gonna be building out a set down there. I've got the TriCaster up and running. You can see this beautiful, sleek control panel. That's so nice. And I've got one camera set up so far. You can see that uh, it's kind of overlooking the living room set and then the uh, dance floor on the other side here. And that is our uh, PTZ Optics 20X SDI camera. Now I was really hoping that they would have the new firmware out in time for this event, which so I could just go straight NDI with this. But it looks like um, it's going to come along a few days after the event. So I am running uh, SDI for the video feed and then obviously our uh, Ethernet connection for control. We've got Kyle and Ross setting up our audio. Get a quick look at some of the gear that we're using here. I'm breaking out the new tech PTZ cameras. I just mounted the new tech PTZ1 on this big stand. This is the corner of the dance floor. I know there's a lot of stuff here now, but this is going to be the dance floor out here. And so this is my my dance floor camera and I've run a, uh, a Cat6 cable all the way over here um, all the way down there up and then across into the control room now uh, the problem is uh, this is a hundred foot cable the longest I've got but I'm a little bit short to make it to the camera so I'm going to use one of these little Cat6 connectors and give myself a little extra length. I plugged this in and got power because the other end is plugged into my uh, PoE switch. Here's the back of our equipment rack. We've got a simple TP-Link switch back here. And as you can see, we used it. <laughs> uh, cameras, computer systems, generating graphics, running other applications that were sending and receiving video, and of course the live stream coming through this, this same switch. I did use the SDI in on the back of the TC1, uh, mainly just as redundancy. This is my first production uh, bringing in cameras with uh, NDI and I just wanted to have a couple of cameras connected via SDI just as a as a backup. This view is looking down into the top of the, the rack. We've got the uh, TriCaster down here. We've got a rack shelf here. And I wanted to get the uh, AJA Hilo mounted in here, as well as the GTEC drive, but uh, I used Joe's sticky stuff to mount those onto the rack. And as you can see, it's just a, a gummy adhesive that you can easily cut and apply 
but it uh, very securely I'm reefing on it pretty good here very securely holds these two in place for the drive I just put it down the side there now it's not permanent so I can actually uh, I can pry this up and pop it off and remove the Joe's sticky stuff uh, without much problem so it's not a permanent mounting solution but it is a temporary one which is just what I wanted for this particular setup about ready to go live December 2017 So he's kind of a silhouette right now, but you can see Guy Cochran right down here. He's on the wireless camera. So we've got a Sony X70, and uh, we're using a Teradek Bolt Pro 600. And as you can see, it's transmitting right up here. You're getting some solid video. the scenes here at Dancember 2017. We've got Jesse over there running the TriCaster. We've got some Twitter feed action going over here. We've got our uh, laptop with uh, live text for updating lower thirds graphics. So we can update the graphic here on the laptop and it feeds it right across the network. Over third is up. And updates it in the TriCaster so that it can go live. Ready to take two. And over here, uh, just to make use of tools that we already have, um, I've got Mimo Live running in my MacBook Pro. Nice, nice. And what I've done is used uh, a window capture. So I've got um, a browser up with the Dan Sember website, and then I brought that in here into my layer stack, and I've cropped out everything except for. Ready, one, take one. I think that camera's still on autofocus. So the uh, donation ticker that tells us how much money that we've raised. So I've cropped that all out, and then I've got NDI output turned on. And so that goes across the network <coughs> to the TriCaster as well. We can go live with, um, you know, the donation can amount get a better angle if you updated on the website. website um, can go out um, right at the top of the screen to show the viewers uh, how much money we've raised. Uh, another MacBook Pro over here running Wirecast and they have the ability to moderate the Twitter feed and so that uh, Twitter live Twitter um, graphic is um, going out via NDI to the TriCaster as well so that at any time they can they can put that up and get a live Twitter feed. Now. Uh, we couldn't figure out how to get an alpha channel, so we ended up doing a green background um, and then just keying it out <coughs> in the TriCaster. With Mimo Live, uh, we didn't have that same struggle. It just automatically gave us an alpha channel, which was which was nice. 
I want to show you all of the different things that are available uh, across the network via NDI. So I'm just going to go into this uh, input here, input 5. Click on this, pull this over here. <laughs> so here's all the local inputs, but everything else is over the network via NDI. So this is a laptop here where we've got the uh, live text app running. Um, MacBook Pro with Wirecast doing our Twitter feed. Uh, my MacBook Pro with Nemo Live doing the uh, uh, the money raised graphic from the website. Uh, new Tech uh, Connect Spark, the two uh, New Tech PTZ cameras, PTZ Optics camera, and of course the TriCaster itself, and all of its NDI inputs and outputs. Pretty amazing stuff. Dan Simber is just wrapping up, and uh, all the gear held up and and worked, uh, which is great. It was kind of a brutal 24-hour long live stream. Jesse's still alive, didn't sleep at all. I slept for about an hour. <laughs> it didn't feel much different when I woke up. Guy got a little bit of sleep. He kind of split the difference, <laughs> I think. <laughs> 45 minutes. Got a lot of a lot of tech going on here, and it's uh, it's pretty cool how much NDI came into play. We were able to use. That's for sure. Yeah, go ahead, please. How you feeling? Hmm? How you feeling? Pretty good. Tired. Doing, doing all right. Doing good. Yeah. Ross, how you doing? You guys did a great job. Feeling pretty uh, triumphant. I guess. Yeah. No, that's, that's no, no, no major failures or <laughs> malfunctions or anything. It's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we oh, good. Yeah, no, good. I, I didn't notice anything major anyway. So. We had 24 hours to do that. It turns out that the network was perfectly reliable, and the the cameras did not falter. Uh, the NDI was was great. It, it worked well, so I'm I'm confident with you know doing this again without any SDI connections at all, just going completely IP.